So it's it's been a while since the first film. Um, how close were you to making a sequel before this version actually came to to the screen? Well, they asked me immediately after the first one when it was crossing all these crazy, crazy records and all these things were happening. Immediately, the producer said, "Let's do a sequel," and I very quietly said, um, "I don't think so," because I was hiding a very private situation that I had written that Tula was a mom and I was not a mom, and I was in a very difficult struggle to become a mom that turned into a very happy, beautiful story that I am now a mother and on my daughter's first day of kindergarten. Another mother said something that made me realize that I had morphed into my own suffocating Greek parents because I was way too close to my daughter, you know, making sure her lunch was packed, adjusting her clothes. All the other parents were halfway out the door and I was, you know, hearing somebody sobbing and heaving in the room and it was me. <laughs> this lady was still crying and another woman said, oh, come on, in 13 years they're going to go off to college and leave us. And that was it. That was the moment that I realized I've got to write about the fact that my personal theory is it's not do we become our parents, it's when do we become our parents. Mm -hmm. I, and mentioning that, I, I find it fascinating that for me this feels like a family film in as much as I watched the first one with my family and we all really enjoyed it. And there's very few films like that. Um, why do you think that is? And what is the family appeal for this, this, this series, I guess? Um, you know, it's difficult to write a film that doesn't devolve into our jokes. They're so easy. And if we play any board games together, you will hear that I'm a very foul-mouthed girl. <laughs> but I just don't want to put that in my movies because my approach to comedy is always come, laugh with me. So I want the whole family to be able to watch these movies. But I will watch an R movie and enjoy it like crazy. It's just, you can't do that with this. I have a responsibility to this sized audience goer and this older audience goer. They want to watch it together. Mm -hmm. And is it tough having that responsibility, as you say, appealing to different generations and, and a wide audience? Yes, it, it is. I think it's, it's, again, I call it a responsibility. If I'm going to deliver a film that's for, about a family, it must be available for family viewing. Mm -hmm. I, I want to ask you about the writing process, because mm. obviously you write this film. and. How much do you borrow from your own life? You mentioned some of the experiences you had, and how much do you see from around you and, and maybe even outside the Greek community? Do you, do you see things that you can borrow and use in this film? Yes, I realized with the first film that I actually had not written about a Greek family at all. I had written about everybody's family. It was a happy accident and a realization for me. So the same thing applies to this film. If something happens in my life, I will take it and borrow from it and twist it and dial it up to 11, but I do make up a lot alone in my little writing office by myself. It's such a lonely process to write. I enjoy that first table read because there's, everyone's just alive and I watch the actors say the lines and just breathe life into the characters. I, it was, I cried a lot that first day. Is it then a relief to get on set and then start performing the lines that you've written and seeing other people do those lines as well? It's really great. And the process, I keep writing constantly through the process of filming because I'll hear something that doesn't sound exactly right. Or we, we did something two days before, like an indication that maybe I need to make this scene a little bit more clear. And it's just a, po a process. It's like cooking. It's always ever evolving. You don't quite measure. Well, that's my way of cooking. A handful of this, a pinch of that. And what was it like um, getting everyone back together? And you know, it, there must have been just such a joyous atmosphere when you when you're making the film as well. Yes, it was loud. We went through a lot of food, and then my real family showed up to be background actors. They're all through the film. My parents have been in every single one of my movies. Uh, my dad walks around on set going, "Is this free?" I'm like, "Dad, you can't eat it. It's like <laughs> covered in hairspray so that it's shiny on screen." But you know, it's really fun. Um, there, there's a great use of a, a cover version of a Billy Idol song, and I think everyone has been talking about how great that is. Was that an original song that was out before the movie, or did you have that specially composed for the sequence? It was out. You can find anything on the internet. <laughs> I, I mean, it was a great use of that. And, and I mean, how did you go about in, integrating stuff that um, people might know from the Greek uh, community into something that would be appeal to everyone? Um... I found something with the first film that we have such a universality in the f family situation. We all have an aunt who will sit down and tell you all her personal details about her life. We all have a cousin who will, you know, tell you that skirt is too short. Um, you know, it's, it's really great. I find a comfort in my family being too close. Sure, sometimes it would be better if I have boundaries, but that doesn't make me happy.
Excellent. And, and finally, I want to, I mean, the first film was a huge success and deservedly so. Thank you. Um, were you taken aback by that at all? And how did you deal with the pressure of, uh, you know, following that up? You can't respond to pressure. I just think as a writer and as any sort of artist, you have to just say, listen, this is what I think is funny and I'm putting it out there and just enjoy it. And I, I just like, I like the sound of an audience laughing. I don't read reviews. I think they have a place in, in this world. But an audience laughing is like, I always say it's like the sound of French fries frying. Is there, <laughs> is there ever a happier sound? Amazing. I mean, yeah, absolutely. And there's great uh, joy and laughter in the screening I was in, so thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thanks. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys! Hey You Guys, huh? Hey you guys, Is that yeah. from the Goonies? It is indeed, yeah. Nice. Hey You Guys!